Hello, and welcome to three days in the life of a medical illustration grad student. This is my classroom. It comes complete with a potato lamp, a nap trap, and giant IKEA leaves. Today is Friday, so I have two classes, anatomical visualization and gross anatomy. Sometimes I doodle during class if I don't need to take notes. Here I am trying to flesh out some ideas for Inktober, which starts in five days, and for me, it's going to end briefly after it starts. After class is over, I have an anatomy review to attend. We have an exam on Monday, so it's go time. Since everything is virtual, we are unable to do dissections as we normally would, and instead, we complete labs with videos and photos of prosections. After anatomy review, I tutor two middle schoolers virtually. They attend a local school, and I help them with homework and studying. After that, I take a late lunch break and probably eat some garbage. Here I am watermelon vibing. Now, back to studying. More garbage in. After a decent study session, I allow myself a quick gander out the window to imagine what the sun would feel like on my skin. Back to studying. Our anatomy tutor is hosting a fun Jeopardy format review. Sometimes, when I'm zoom dying, I sit on the floor or lay in my bed. After the review, I have a brief moment to think about something other than anatomy, and become overwhelmed with sadness for the state of the world. This window is pretty. Look at that bug. What a ride. More studying. Dance break. I'm learning a portion of the choreography from Jungle's music video for the song Casio. I love the loose, cool style. I know nothing about dance, so it doesn't go well. After that, I eat dinner. I live at home with my grandparents, so it's really nice to get home-cooked meals. It's almost a week later on a Wednesday, which should be a more typical day. I normally start my day off with some sort of exercise, but I have an early class today, so I skip Wednesdays. Today, I'm starting my day with some oatmeal and blueberries for breakfast. I'm your typical lazy, I don't want to cook for just myself millennial, so I eat a lot of quick meals and frozen food. It's not ideal for my health, but I try to choose the healthiest frozen foods I can find. Also, it must be under $4. Anyways, today I have visual learning and thinking and gross human anatomy to attend. In visual learning and thinking, we have an assignment coming up that I will work on today. Class is a synchronous Zoom lecture where we discuss different aspects of visual exploration. We are required to keep a sketchbook, and we have some other large projects. The current assignment is to visualize an assigned embryological malformation, mine being a cleft palate. I start out the assignment by researching. I look up mostly textbooks and some articles to educate myself on the malformation and how it develops. I'm also looking at what visuals have already been made and how I can improve upon them. I take some notes in my sketchbook for this class so that once I have a good understanding, I can make some thumbnails. After I've done my research, I look for good reference images. When working on a scientific illustration, I always try to find photos, x-rays, or CT scan models to work from because it's not another artist's interpretation of the subject. There are so many different ways of representing biological topics that it's difficult to know if the artist has represented the subject realistically or accurately. While reading, I thought that the most useful visuals for me were actually the simplified diagrammatic ones because the fetal form is so alien and different bumps and lumps aren't always distinct and sometimes look nothing like the fully developed version we are all used to seeing. I trace out some squares in my sketchbook and make a couple thumbnails. I decided that I would draw a newborn with an open mouth showing the inferior view of the cleft palate with two diagrammatic insets simply showing how the palette comes together in development. After that, I take a break to go on a walk. It's a really beautiful sunny day, and I don't get to spend much time outside, so I decided to bring my laptop out and work on the project in the fresh air. Sadly, I could only come up with one thumbnail, so I started on the real drawing. After that, I take a nap break, spend some time with my family, and eat dinner.
We also have a heart drawing assignment for our anatomical visualization class, so I spend a little bit of time working on that. Afterward, I hop on Discord and play Among Us with my friends. That's the end of my day, but I wanted to finish the video by explaining the conclusion of my cleft palate assignment. When the cleft palate assignment was completed, I added another page and a half of notes and completely changed the composition. My professor gave me feedback that it wasn't improving upon what visuals were already available, so I decided to do a three-dimensional representation of the fetus from an inferior view as the malformation occurs. It was difficult to find any decent references of a fetal face from an inferior view until I found uh, some images of the book called The Anatomy of the Human Embryo, a Scanning Electron Microscopic Atlas by Gerd Sted Steding. The book had exactly the references I needed and was an incredible resource for accurately visualizing the fetal form. This is the final assignment that I submitted. That's it for this video. I hope that this was helpful for you aspiring medical illustration grad students out there. Keep in mind that this is kind of an atypical semester. It is October of 2020, so we're in the heat of the pandemic and everything is virtual. So it's, it's a bit of an atypical view of what a medical illustration student's life would be like. So uh, I hope it was helpful anyways, but um, please, Put any questions that you have in the comments below because I always read those. Um, thanks for watching.